Continuing our coverage now of the coronavirus, more towns and cities are seeing an uptick in the number of COVID cases. And this morning, the mayor of Cromwell is asking people to be more vigilant as cases rise there. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal is live outside Cromwell High School with more on the concerns in town. Aya. Good morning, Caitlin. Well, the town of Cromwell has been upgraded from a yellow alert level to orange, and so now changes are being made in hopes of slowing the spread of the coronavirus here in town. Starting Monday, Cromwell Public Schools will shift away from in-person learning and instead go towards a hybrid model. Right now, the positivity rate for Connecticut is hovering at just below 3%. 18 towns and cities are in a red risk level. 22 are in orange, among them Cromwell. The orange level means there's 10 to 14 cases per 100,000 people per day. The mayor says the majority of COVID cases reported in town since August are in the 16 to 60 age range. Businesses in town are concerned about what an uptick in cases could mean. If a town makes it on the red alert list, the state recommends it goes back to phase two, meaning capacity would decrease at businesses. The final decision lies in the hands of local government. I would encourage people that if you feel safe to go out to support the small businesses, if they roll it back, I just don't know how these guys are going to stay open, especially during the winter months. And all of this comes as the United States reached a grim milestone yesterday. On Friday, more than 80,000 new coronavirus cases were recorded. That's the highest single day record since the pandemic began. Now, here in Cromwell, the mayor is urging people to avoid large gatherings and also reminding people of the importance of wearing masks and social distancing. Live in Cromwell this morning, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.